Once you have completed with your release details, you can go to step two, which is to upload your songs. You can do this in one of two ways. From the release level screen, you can go on step two, click tracks, or if you like, you could also access this screen by clicking distribute, going to releases, and then going into songs and audio, which as you will see, shows up when you have unsubmitted releases. So the first thing you want to do is actually upload your file. Uh, the system accepts WAVE, AIFF, or FLAC, and we can accept it through Dropbox and Google Drive, but the most popular and easier method is to just upload using our web uploader. So we will upload the song. Sometimes it takes a minute depending on the size of your song, but usually um, a file of 73 megabytes, depending on your connection, can take anywhere from you know 30 seconds to 60 seconds to upload. Once your audio has been uploaded, then you can go to the track screen to actually match and fill out those details. You do that by clicking on titled, click to edit. Here you will enter in the song name, and this uh, edit track screen is very similar to the edit release screen, but now we're talking specifically about the song, of course. And since this will only be a single, you will only see, for the, the sake of this tutorial, just one song to select. So the song name is called How You Feel, and you will select it from the drop-down. Uh, here's the file that I just uploaded. It'll calculate the track length automatically, and we do want to add the featuring artist in this case, which will be an artist by the name of CEO. If you have contributors, particularly if you are in the jazz genre or other genres of, let, of, of, of that such, then you're able to choose an artist from here as well and select various different roles. For electronic music, it's not necessarily required to enter contributors, but you're more than welcome to do so here. The primary, secondary, recording year, all of that is fed from the previous release uh, detail screen that we entered, so it's automatically there, but you're able to change those if you feel. And you're able to just simply click this generate ISRC code to assign a brand new ISRC code for your song. Um, this is a very important code, very, very similar to UPC at the release level. The ISRC is effectively a barcode for the song and it's very vital and important for when it comes to publishing mechanicals and other types of royalty collections. Price tier is once again selected as front, but if I wanted to, I could change that as well to mid or back. Every single time that you change that, the price also will change in the system. For the sake of this, we'll just leave it as front. And you can get more information on that as you go through the system and you click on that more info link. Album only is um, kind of something that is, you know, likely going away in the future because the downloads are changing and evolving. That will make it so that the only way that anybody can use or buy that track is if they purchase the entire album. It's not really relevant for a single, so we will just leave that unchecked. Does this song contain vocals? This song happens to contain vocals, yes. Um, so you will want to select the language of the vocals and you're able to enter your lyricist or your lyrics, but this is optional in the system. Um, entering lyrics will ensure that it gets uh, picked up on Apple's uh, lyric sort of uh, engine and also helps feature consideration. So do consider filling these out. But if you do not have, if you do not have lyrics or do not wish to provide those, you are not, um, obligated to do so. Then you want to select the explicit status. This is a uh, clean song, but this is also just not explicit so not explicit will work there. And it is not a DJ mix and as you can see you're not able to select DJ mix unless your song file is of a certain size. So once I've entered in all the details I will click save and that will go ahead and complete the track detail for this release.